Hello Northerners and welcome back to the land of Skyrim. In this video we are going to be doing Before the Storm, so let's get to it. We're actually going to follow this guy back to his house, even though he's like, hey, you really shouldn't even come with me. I'm just going to completely ignore that. Yeah, so he's talking about Ulfric Stormcloak, who is the dude in the black cloak from the first part, the beginning of the game. He had like the big feathery cloak. And he almost got his head chopped off, but so did we and so did this guy. But looks like we all turned out to be okay. He is also a Stormcloak right here. You know what Stormcloak is? That is just basically just the rebel faction, faction-y type thing in the game. There's... See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Yep. Uh, as I was saying, the Stormcloaks are the rebels, and the Imperials are the, like, the government, more government people, I guess. That's what you could call them. Anyway, here, oh jeez, here are some stones over here, which I'm going to go ahead and take a look at. So, you'll find a few of these around the world, and they kind of change. The Guardian Stones, three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Yeah, they kind of changed the way you play a little bit. It's not that big of a... Ooh, that's nice water. It's not that big of a difference, but it, it does make a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to go with the Thief Stone. So as you can see, those under the sign of the Thief will learn all stealth skills 20% faster. You only have one of these on at a time, so... Thief, eh? Go with that one. It's never too late to take charge of your own faith, you know. Drop it, bro. Drop it. So I lowered some settings, hopefully that increases the frame rate a little. I mean, I have the cap at 30 frames, so it won't go higher than 30 frames, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more stable and won't skip as much like it just did. Sometimes it, like, stops for a second. I don't, I don't really know why. But anyway. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talk. Hey man, I I doubt you have more points in speech than me. I doubt that. <gasps> hey puppies! I am going to go... Oh shit, he just moved. Oh uh, yeah, these guys always attack you, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot that guy. I don't even know I'm crouched right now, honestly. Honestly don't. Oh, and there we go. All three dead. So you can... Another cool thing about using the bow and arrow is you can usually pick up your own arrows. I don't even know... Where mine are. Also, another thing, he can drag bodies. Yeah, I was, I was gonna take Mr. Wolf here. Ah, oh, I dropped him. I could, I should like. Ah, whatever. That, I'll save that for another day. Yeah, let's go, bro. Come on. All right. So you can also sheath your weapon by pressing R, so you don't have to always have it out. Yeah, we are going to. Shit, what's that place called? River. Yeah, Riverwood. That's the place we want to go to. Of course, bro. Even though you're really not that important of a character after this. Still, look at this reflection. That's kind of oh, it's a little pixely. I think that is also a mod. Can't remember which one it belongs to though. But the waters don't usually look reflecty like that. I might change that. I'm probably gonna be changing some of the graphical settings uh, as we kind of progress through the game. So anyway, we're now in Riverwood, which is kind of the first real town. What? Looks like nobody here mother. knows what happened here. Come on. Girl is probably working in her lumber mill. So that crazy old lady's talking about seeing a dragon. Cause she is a Christian lady. And Rayloff over here is trying to take us to his aunt or something or whatever she is. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to change some settings here. That's some nice render distance. So, by the way, you can go all the way up like this. There's no loading screens in this open world. You just like here. Let, let me show you the map here. That is not the map said let me show you the map cool so I'll just take for example if no nope, that's not what I want to do nope 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 leave it <laughs> okay so this is the bottom right corner of the map you can go right Riften's about the edge of that map you can go from Riften all the way to I don't know what's up here uh, to solitude without a loading screen 
and the whole world, the whole outside world will be rendered. So, if your computer can't handle Skyrim, really, that's, that's right why, because it's a massive game. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Yep. The comrade Don't yet. mind the veiny eyes. Friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Spend woman. drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. That's the dude up there that was talking to us. I don't know why the subtitles weren't showing up, but... Come on. Come on, Duke, get over here. Is this him right here? No, it's just a random kid. Uncle What's up? Rayla, can I see your ads? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Frodnar. Go and watch the south road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I hey, dude, I'm standing here. Get off. Slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then. Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Cool. Oh, she's giving us stuff too. What a nice little lady. Oh, what a nice lady. I don't think she gives you the stuff if you don't bring Rayloff along. So I'd highly recommend doing that. So I'll take the potions. I'll actually take everything. So this is food that helps with healing. Uh, I'm actually not going to take that wine. Oops, sorry. We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whitefront to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, I am going to actually try and see if I can raise their volume, because it just sounded a little low. So, voice, yeah, let's, let's bump that up to the max. It's just a little low. Okay. Cool. So anyway, like I said in the last part, this is going to be a quest-based thing. I'm going to try and, well, I mean, you'll see how I'm going to split it up. But basically, um, I'm sure the way I'm going to do certain videos is if there's a big a quest that I'm doing, I'm going to dedicate the whole video to I that quest, so I'm not going to start any other quests. You know, so while there are a few other quests this. that we can start here in mm. Riverwood at the moment, I am not going to start them. Good luck, Reason brother. being that uh, I would rather save that for its own individual video, because I can think I of one quest about a certain claw made of gold that takes a little bit, it's not too long. 
Um, but I'd rather save that for its own video. And there's another one, which is actually too short to have its own video. So, and that's like some weird romance kind of thing. Uh, but don't worry about about the city or the town. We'll be back very soon after we finish this quest here. So don't worry about that. I'm not leaving for very long. I would just like to continue on with this little part here. So we could kill this thing right here. I don't think it's hostile. Is it? No, it just runs away. There's no reason. There's also a counter for how many rabbits you kill. Let's see if I can... I've never actually done one before, so let me see. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. That was a terrible shot. We're playing around. Okay. Did I even shoot? Hmm. I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Let's forget that. I don't I don't really do that. I don't know why. I don't know if there's an achievement for it or what, but whatever. So, oh, I hear some wolves. I don't know why I always crouch either. It's just habitual when I have a bow. I don't know, man. There's some stuff up there. Oh, there's a wolf. Feel, wait, no arrows. Oh, shit, no arrows. Alright, what's that? Uh, do I have any... Fuck. I don't have any freaking... I could use some magic. I haven't shown the magic off yet. Alright, let's do that. So, let's just do that. There you go. That's the magic. I can't believe I don't have any arrows. Let me actually go buy some air. Well, oh. well, oh. you know, actually, it'd probably be more ooh, more reliable if I. Ooh, I didn't realize there was a new uh, magic kill cam. Anyway, that's kind of cool. So. In my first run, because this is obviously not my first run, in my first run of this game, I was a pretty big magic user at the beginning. Then I realized that magic isn't that good in this game. It's not bad, but it's not, I don't know. I prefer one-handed weapons and bows, personally. That's that, Those were my two go-to weapons. So I'm going to stick to this time as well. Now over there is the place we want to go to this time, and I guess my render distance is just... Wait, did I have... No, no, yeah, no, yeah, you know what? The first time I had fog on, that's what the difference here was. That's why my frames are kind of skippy, because look how... That's pretty far, and... What's going on here? What's up, Imperial dudes? Business. Be on your way. Why don't you be on your way. Fine. Yeah, don't mess with them, because then you'll get a bounty. Alright, so as I was saying... Uh, yeah, I had some fog on. That's why I was making the, the a little bit of lag come because that's that's decently far away and it's still being rendered. So, I mean, this whole world is being rendered all at once. So, excuse me if I frames drop to like 25 occasionally, which they do sometimes for 20, 22, whatever, whatever it is. So I'm just gonna go explore, not explore. I'm gonna discover this place here, just so I can. Fast travel here if need be. I don't know why I would need to since the castle just. Oh, there's a freaking giant. I'll help these villagers out. Oh. Well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. Huh. What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Yes, so that is a quest that we will be doing later. Probably not for a while because it's not... I mean, it's interesting. And the reward, the thing you get from it is pretty cool. But for me, I didn't use it that much. It was just something cool to have for messing around and if you've already played this game you know what that is but I'm going to hold off on that because it's not that important to me at the moment so I don't like it I don't like using it that much the reward that you get but I will get it eventually I'm trying to remember where the fucking entrance is God damn it. was it around here? I, I think it might have been around here kind of in the foothills here let's see Okay, so I guess I can explain fast travel while I'm out here. What that is, is once you discover a location, like I just found the Battleborn farm, you can instantly fast travel there, which means you just go to your map, and you go find the location of the place you want to go to, and click on it, and you instantly teleport there, as long as you're not in the middle of a fight. Or indoors. As long as you're outdoors and uh, P 
peaceful situation. Where the hell is this door, man? No, it's like on the other side. It's on the other side. Alrighty, let me, yeah, let me just go around this way. I guess you can get a nice view of Skyrim in the meantime. Look at that. This game really is beautiful. It really is. Watching five, because like, I'm sure people said the same thing about Oblivion when it came out. What was that, like six, six years ago-ish? So I wonder what people are going to say about Skyrim six years from now, because I mean, at this point in time, Oblivion does not look very good compared to today's standards, right? So I don't know, like, we, we've made pretty decent bounds and leaps between, you know, graphical enhancements between, you know, just a few years. I mean, games from 2010 don't even look really as good as games from this year. So I'm just curious to what they're going to look like and how Skyrim's going to look compared to that once those start kind of getting more common. So I think the entrance should actually be up here. I'm ta I'm, I just went, like, completely around taking the stupid way <laughs> but anyway I am I'm gonna get there don't worry I'm gonna get there I'm gonna get there look at that look at that look at that forest up there mm, so good by the way these are yeah these are ore veins I can't do anything with these yet because I don't have a pickaxe and I probably will never do anything with them because you can both find them and buy them and that usually is just a lot more convenient uh, we'll see. Wait, wait. The fuck is this door? <laughs> oh man, I can't believe. Okay, here are the stairs. Finally, I just skipped like the little hill there, but whatever. Alrighty, so let's go to our first hold, hold. which is oh. the city's closed with the dragons about official business only. Okay, so there's some things you can do here, just like an introductory conversational type deal. You can persuade, you can bribe, or you can intimidate. Intimidation doesn't, it's not a good idea usually. Uh, bribe usually works, persuade, you, if you see persuade then it works, so I'm just gonna go with persuade. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on Oops. you. Ah. Oh yeah, you can look around while I'm doing that. Speech increased to 16, you level up, well, okay, this game, I really like the leveling in this game. Cause it's unlike the uh, Fallout and Oblivion. Actually, I know I've never played Oblivion, but it's unlike other games where you level up and you get like three points to put uh, into whatever skill you want. In this one, basically the way it works is the more you use a certain skill, the more it levels up. Well, uh, so you have separate tanks, skill have levels and overall level. Like I am still, I'll show you. I'm still overall level one. You can see at the top here, but I have all the stuff that's in the level twenties and stuff. So they have different bars. Uh, these skill bars, like I said, depend on how much you use that skill. The overall level gets increased every time you get a skill level. Uh, I mean, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Anyway. Yeah, I could talk to her. Oh, I'll, I'll listen. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Cool, I'm gonna go in third person because I like third person sometimes. It's just fancy. So <laughs> I like how my quiver has arrows in it, but I don't actually have arrows on me. That's pretty cool. That right there is Dragon's Reach, and oh, Dragon's Reach Give me your is money. awesome. I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now or I'm gonna bloody your nose. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn, or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please. I really don't have any money, Brave. I'll give you ten septums. Can I talk to this bitch? I'm me. not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. A bitch, it's man. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. What does a kid do for fun around here? Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the gray mane's yard. Eh. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. Okay, Bran. I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Okay. Until yeah, next time. Bonus there. So, fun story, I'm actually trying to recreate... Uh, well, it's more like an homage. I'm trying to do an homage to this city in Minecraft right now, and that I'm not putting it up on my channel, but I am doing I that as a cooperative thing on someone else's channel. So if you want to 
check that out. It'll there's gonna be a link somewhere in my channel. I don't know where. Just look up. Uh, oh, what did he call? It? I think it's called like "Let's Build a Kingdom with Dark Blue Wolf and Broken X Note." Something like that. Anyway, Dragon's Reach is where we want to be going. I should have really looked more at the castle because or the the holes because it looks really nice. And it's my favorite part about the town. But alas. Okay. Well, now we can get a good look at this. Is like I feel like Ezio would would feel well not Ezio but like you know some assassin from the Assassin's Creed series. Obviously Ezio's from Italy, but you know if there's like a Norwegian Assassin's Creed spin-off, uh, he would fit in here well, I think. Anyway. Oh, hello. Like, hey, hey. What? What are you doing? What are you doing there? Hey, why? Why are you? St no. I'm gonna kite you. I'm gonna kite you. I'm just gonna. Who's this then? Hello. Well, I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? Yeah, it's pretty important. A dragon destroyed Helgen. Guard or Girder is afraid Riverwood is next. Girder owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Pillar of the community, not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? Well, they can get pretty scaly when their skin gets dry, but uh, anyway. I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the dragon Earl of is Valkyrie lurking in the mountains, will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarn. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Nice armor. That is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. Cool. Yep, so I'm actually going to save that for next time. I actually have no idea how long this video has been because I don't even have a timer running right now. Hopefully it's been uh, decently long. So next time we are going to be talking to this dude's magician. That's who he's talking about. Or sorcerer, whatever the hell you want to call him. Uh, but that's going to be save for next time. Because I would like to make this series last for a while. Uh, I'll probably do like one video a day. Probably. Well, it depends on like how how long each video is. Obviously, I do have arrows. What the hell are you talking about, game? What the hell are you talking? Okay, whatever. Yep. Let me real quick before I end up the part. I would like to. Yeah, I would like to favorite this right there. And then uh, that's the wrong button. And then yes, I would like to put this on number three. Great. That's for only run out of arrows. Yes. So as I was saying, next time we will. If I can open up the journal. Uh, I, where's the journal button? What the hell, man? Oh, it's, it's not, is it Q? It's not Q, is it? No. It's not J. Oh, it is J. What? Okay, that wasn't working. Anyway, next time we will be taking on Bleak Falls Barrow. We'll talk to Farangar, Court Wizard, and we'll see what happens then. So thanks for watching.